Hey y'all, how you doing? <clears throat> Wilhelmina here, welcome to Wall Decor by Faye. Tonight we're going to make, or this evening, we're gonna make a USA Freedom wreath. Can you see that well? Yay! And um, I have this little Uncle Sam. He is from On The Wall Charm. And um, so we're gonna, we might use them tonight. I'm not sure. You know how I am. <laughs> so we've also got these embellishments. I have these from Laura Jean's favorite place, AC Moore. And these as well are from AC Moore. This, I believe, oh, Hobby Lobby. Yep. So we'll see. I have those just in case. We have this 10 inch mesh. I cut all this yesterday, y'all. And I had decided to do 14 ties on my wreath frame. And it's a 10 yard roll of mesh. So I, I went on my computer, well not my computer, but my little calculator on my phone. And it said that I could cut, if I did 25 inch pieces, I could have 14 of them. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll do it at 14 inches. And don't you know, I was one short, of course, of course, of course, of course. So I got all discombobulated and I had to redo the wreath. And so I did it, I put 12 on here, but I didn't put them on, right on the bars, I kind of improvised and did a little bit in so that they would be a little bit closer together. So we'll see, uh, another winging it with Willie night. And um, these are the ribbons we're using, two and a half and one and a half. And these are cut at 12 inch strips. Say hi to Sheila and Deanne. Hi Sheila, hey Deanne. Thanks for coming in, sis. <laughs> I just made a tulip wreath today with the some of the Dutch colors, the white, red, and orange, but then we added yellow. She wanted blue, but um, not the light blue that I had, so it would have looked weird with dark blue. Anyway, so we're gonna um, go ahead and start this now. It's really gonna be winging it, y'all, because I don't know. This one's, you know how you get those feelings for some reason? We'll see. Because everything that could go wrong yesterday did go wrong. We um, tried to get a new modem put in through Cox Cable. And um, Steve got it all set up. And it wouldn't accept it. And then it... Long story, y'all. Long, long story. So we're going to do um, ruffles. You know how I like the ruffle. It, these are cut, this is a 10 inch mesh. And this is from Hobby Lobby also. And it's the only one I had, otherwise I could have just gone ahead and made more. But um, yeah, I only had the one. So, and I didn't want to do a super big wreath this time. Try to keep the price point a little bit lower. So I just rolled that up a couple of times. My hands are kind of feeling poopy today, so I'm going to need a little help. It's cold out today here in Virginia. Or at least I'm cold. You ever have those days where you just can't get warm? That's hence the sweatshirt. <laughs> so how's everyone doing this afternoon? Are we all going crazy or what? Peg is on board. Peg's, hey, Peg. Peg McFadden. I'm Wilhelmina. Everybody calls me Willie. Um, Faye is my stage name. <laughs> is my uh, business name because Wilhelmina wouldn't fit in my Etsy wow. shop. <laughs> so we have our little ruffle. Oh, that didn't turn out very well. I'm just kidding. Hi. <laughs> I'm feeling a little goofy today, y'all. I've been really um, busy taking pictures and painting and um, just starting new things to put into my Etsy shop, which is Wall Decor by Faye as well. So if y'all would, wouldn't mind checking out my Etsy shop, um, Peg, I'd appreciate it. Peg asked us, so it's Willie? Yeah, you can call me Willie. 
It's Wilhelmina, but everybody calls me Willie once they get to know me. At least they call you. At least they call me. <laughs> Nobody calls me. Oh, of course. Dude. That's my husband, Steven. He's my moderator and my CEO. My carries everything out. Today we put my banner up because every, everybody's always up asking about my um, stuff. About my shelving. Instead of watching me make a wreath. So we figured we'd put up my banner. And that way you wouldn't forget who you're watching to. <laughs> oh, Deanne says, hi, hubby. Uh, hi, husband. Hi, <laughs> Deanne. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> she was the side effects of, of rooming with me. <laughs> or uh, as Joey would say. Oh, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? So we're just putting, um, these are cut at 25 inches. And just know that sometimes, yeah, when you do get a roll of mesh, you get gypped a few inches. In this case, I got gypped quite a few inches. I think I had like maybe seven inches left over of what I should have had 25 inches. Because it said I could... Um, Cut 14 pieces at 25.17. Deanne's like, how are you doing? <laughs> silly girl. <laughs> silly, silly girl. Oh, her granddaughter is so precious. I love, love, love all those pictures that you send. That you post, I should say. She's adorable. She does not take a bad picture. And she has the cutest clothes, too. I'm jelly. I want Hi. some new clothes. Well, we're going to get you some. And then, so I'm just rolling it in a couple of times and then scrunching it together. Sarah says hello from Kentucky mm -hmm. and MJ Hi, Sarah. has joined. Hello, MJ. How are you? I hope you're feeling better. So how's the weather where everybody's at? We're supposed to get some more rain today here in Norfolk. And then I guess it's supposed to start getting a little bit colder. And then chances of rain the whole weekend. So it's a good time to wreath. Christy Rail has joined. Hi Christy, thanks. Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking like so far. That's why I, it looks, it's so thin. This is really winging it, y'all. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I might have to put in some random um, um, rolls. We'll see. So we're just rolling this up a couple of times. Can you see? Deanne says rain in Austin and Peg says sunny and 70. Where are you at, Peg? <laughs> where, where are we going next? Yeah. Our next road trip. And Sarah's from Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky is a beautiful state. We, I drove through it a year too. ago when we drove to last year's Crafters Convention, Judy Smith and I. And uh, do they have sandwiches? That's a beautiful in state. No, they don't serve sandwiches in Kentucky. Oh. No. Everywhere we go, my husband wants to know the best sandwich shop or burger place. Ar Araceli, if I hope I pronounced her name right, Araceli from, says hi San from San Juan, Texas. Texas. Hi, thanks for coming and saying hey. Hail, rain, loud, rockus thunder. thunder. Ooh, doggy, con now Connecticut. Sun is, now sun is <gasps> I've never been. You have cold temps. I've never been to Connecticut. We're originally from California, San Diego. And um, we're retired Navy, so we've been here 21 years now. Twenty-one years. Twenty-one years. That's a long time. Yeah. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Then um, I hope that your Etsy shops are doing well. You wouldn't mind checking out mine it's wall decor by Faye and I also have a YouTube channel under the same name wall decor by Faye if you 
check it out and like and subscribe it for me. Help me get some followers. That would be awesome. And now we're just rolling these up a couple of times. I'm trying to get as much fullness out of this mesh as I can because it's quite thin. When you buy it, it looks so nice and colorful. So you think it's thick, but then as you're undoing it, so, you know, and I always know I should buy two rolls, but when you only can use that one 40% off coupon, yeah, you do what you do. That one 40% loan 40% off. So is um, Craft Outlet back online again now? I know they keep going up and down. I know they had one of, I heard they had one of their employees was tested positive. So that's why they had shut down for a little bit. But I was wondering, not like I need to order anything. I'm finally using up stuff that I've had forever. And um, yeah, you have to say it like that too, forever. <laughs> but um, Michelle and Mike States say hi there. Hi, um, this is, this is a um, Dollar Tree 14 inch wreath frame. And I've got 12 um, pipe cleaners on it. I don't know how far apart they're spaced. I, um, like I said, I was, I was cutting the mesh yesterday so that I could have it for 14 ties. And um, I, oh, I was one short. So I had to make shift a, uh, 12 ties. And I tried to make them so that they would be spaced a little bit better than on each um, of these little railings here. Cause then it leaves it kind of spaced out once I saw how thin the mesh was. So we're gonna see how it goes. I might have to grab some other mesh and put some um, ties, you know, some rolls in between or something. We'll see. Large, we'll see once we have that. Georgine's wreath room says, says, hey girl, hey. hey. Sorry, busy day, sharing. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and saying hey. I know, I had a, I had kind of a busy day too. I had to finally finish up a, a tulip wreath for a custom order from, she was a, f a friend of my mother's and father's. We're Dutch and they belong to a Dutch club while they were alive and so I still kind of try to keep in touch with the ladies and um, so one of the ladies bought a tulip wreath seeing how we're going to change the tulips so yeah yeah this is the last one on the outside so I know I'm going to have to add something hopefully the ribbon will cover some up too and I have some embellishments so we'll, t we'll wing it like Willie often does. <laughs> this is the sign that we're using tonight. USA Freedom. Mason jar. I put a couple of um, little embellishments on it because it had, you know, those uh, holes for the string, the twine to go through. So I put a couple of stars on there. And this is the mesh we're using, using. It's 10 inch mesh from Hobby Lobby. Let's see here. So I am. Um, All occasions, Reese says hi. Hello, how you doing? Um, did you Christina. answer the show question? What did you cut mesh at? 25 inches. Yeah, I went on my calculator on my phone and asked how many inches I could cut each strip at to get, you know, um, for 14 ties. So it said I, I could cut it at 25 inches. In fact, it said 25.17. So I cut, I started cutting and cutting and only made it to 13. So plans changed. Nevertheless, we changed with it. I put 14 ties, I mean 12 ties on instead of 14 um, pipe cleaners, so. TK Greening says, glad I talked to you again. I really enjoyed your April showers, Reese. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks so much. 
Yeah, it turned out really cute. I was happy with it. I was happy, yeah. Now then it, I have another Mother's Day sign that I want to use too before it gets too close to Mother's Day. That's May 10th, so uh, it's getting close. Oh, the second row is filling it in. It's still really thin, y'all, yeah. but it looks cool. And we also have these little guys from Hobby Lobby. And I've got a bunch of stuff from AC Moore. I have some of these. And I have some rustic little balls and some shiny little balls. <laughs> and we also have Uncle Sam. And he's from On The Wall Charm. They have a, um, a kind of like kit right now. A summer, they have summertime, springtime, fall time. I believe they have fall. Um, where you order a bunch of stuff. I can show you the rest that came with it too, if you want. After I put this mesh on, I'll go over. And Antoinette I'll go see. Williams says hi, y'all. Hi, Antoinette. Thanks. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, I'm going to see you. <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> yeah, and I also started, um, I have. I had one more of those um, cross frames still from the Dollar Tree. So I, um, I've been putting, doing rope on some signs, on some wreath frames, because I make a lot of um, nautical themed um, wreaths and stuff, because we live close to Virginia Beach, so we sell a lot of beach items. And, um, so I decided to try to weave some rope on the frame too. So I'm, I'm in the progress of work doing that and I figured I would um, put some uh, patriotic ribbon on it. It's hard to roll and talk at the same time, y'all. So I'm, I'm in the process of doing that. I can show you what that looks like so far. Yeah, just trying to keep, keep my mind off of things and uh, on to positive things. And I'm sure your houses are filling up with wreaths and stuff too. Hopefully not, hopefully you're selling. So Laura Jean, did you, uh, I just, I didn't just sprinkle, I covered. Oh, thank you so much. That's from all, all <laughs> Christine, thank Thanks. you. I appreciate that so much. So we're rolling that up like two or three times. I don't know. And then we'll take it and roll the other side up. Y'all, I just can't seem to get warm today. I have a thick, thick pair of socks on. Like super uber thick. And we're just scrunching it up. So I guess this is the woodland ruffle. It, not, not I guess, it is the woodland ruffle. Cause I like, I like the, the rolls that it makes on the ends. It just adds fullness to it. And I really need it with the, with so few ties and the kind of thin mesh that it is. So, but it, we'll make it work. We will make it work. Just gonna cut a couple of these frays here. Anyone have little ones that they're homeschooling right now? Not me. But y'all, we are one step closer to my getting a dog. <laughs> yes. A stuffed one. Not a stuffed one. Don't listen to him. So. So I won't be here going crazy all by myself all day long. My husband's still working. Thank God. We're very blessed that he still can work. And um, yeah, so I'm here by myself. This is the longest I've been without a dog. It's been, it'll be two years in August. So I'm really looking forward to it. Now it's trying to decide on just one. Lord Jeans, I can't see my <laughs> beautiful basket. 
Shelves, I want them. Did you get a new banner? This is my banner that I use at my craft shows. But since my craft shows have been all, all been canceled, we figured we'll put it up here. And since it seemed like on all my lives, all we talk about were the shelves. I want some attention too. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. I know. <laughs> Have mercy. I sound pitiful. No, you don't. <laughs> No, yeah, it's just what, you know, I figured we need to get some use out of it. That's what my um, business cards look like, too. I wish you could see the whole thing. It's really cute. It's my, um, over here you can see it. It's a picture of my porch from where our old house that we lived at for 19 years. And so we're just rolling. We're on our, I think, two more. Two more. Oh, I'm one step ahead of myself. Don't show your background. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Then I'll show you the what what else I got in my in the in my summertime box from um, on the wall charm. They have such cute. Primitive stuff, y'all. You ought to check them out on Etsy, too. After you look at wall decor by Faye, of course. Ricky Gant has joined. Hey, Ricky. How you doing? Thanks for coming in and saying hi. Y'all, if you want, wouldn't mind sharing and loving and liking and doing all that stuff, that'd be awesome. One more, y'all. One more. And these are the ribbons we're using tonight. We've got this. I've had that truck since last year. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I, I need to use it. Before another year goes by and I have it still. I'll keep it until uh, Ricky says, the truck uh, is out of stock. Peachy King Jelly Bean. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, I don't know if I should stand up. Y'all, I'm wearing my pajama bottoms. <laughs> I just remembered that. <laughs> well, if I stood up to get my stuff, <laughs> they'd see. <laughs> oh, well. It's not like they're sexy or anything. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in a weird mood. It's a good thing I don't drink. <laughs> and we're just scrunching. 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 It feels kind of um, like a, it's a stiff mesh, I should say. Not thick, but stiff. And we'll put in our last one. And we'll twist it around, try to fill this puppy up. TK says, I really like the, the ruffle technique you're using with that mesh. Thanks. Yeah, it turned out nice and full. Oh, that's not too bad. Yay. And that's with 12 twist ties on, um, pipe cleaners. And I just did them, um, instead of doing them on the rails themselves, I just did it like maybe half an inch or so inside. Just tried to space it out so that the it would fill up nice and good and wouldn't have such big gaps. So, okay, y'all. I will show you what else I got in. Don't laugh. Okay. Okay. So I also, in in my on the wall charm box. I also got this little watermelon dude. Look how cute. Isn't he adorable? And then I got these popsicles too. <laughs> they are so 
cute. So we just got um, all the equipment to start um, sublimating signs. So that's what we were doing before we came live tonight, trying to get our first sign together so I can use these pieces. Aren't they adorable? Look. How cute is that? It looks like veggie tails. <laughs> veggie tails. <laughs> Yay. So that's, they have, yeah, y'all gotta check them out. They have the cutest stuff. Okay, back to the wreath. Now I'm gonna take my, this is my two and a half inch. I don't know if you can tell, but those stars are sparkly. Isn't that pretty? And then this good check. Reminds me of a picnic table. Tian said, love it, hey. cute face. And Ricky says, cute. Cute, cute. And then my truck, of course, and my Swiss dot, navy blue and white. Um, I'll occasion race past what, what's it called? Not sure what. Exactly that. What's what called? Christine. Oh, it's Miss Christine. Yeah. And we're just folding it in half and then we'll scrunch it on the fold. The end says we have to talk. How did we not talk about California? Coronado. Oh, my dad. Oh, my gosh. My dad used to be the food and beverage director at the Hotel Dell. So we were there all the time. We spent Christmas Eve there, did Sunday brunches. He always had a harpist that was there. Oh, the memories. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Not only are we Dutch sisters, but we're California sisters. Um, where you got the decor? That's what... That's what Christine wants to know. Oh, those, those embellishments I got from, it's a shop called On The Wall Charm. And they have an Etsy shop. <laughs> Deanne's first job was cashier at the Dell. Oh my word. So you might have met her, not even know it. I know, right? <laughs> my father's name, I don't know if. No, no, your father's name. No, I, no, I was just trying to think, I don't know if you would. I don't know, but um, his name was Herman Small, with one, one L. L. <laughs> he always said that, with one L. And he just passed away this last July. He was 92 years old, so he had a good long life. Oh, you're welcome, Christine. That's so funny at the Dell. I know, you know, there's people that never heard of Hotel Del Coronado. I'm like, what? I just thought that was um, an institution, then, for real. Deanne says this was in the 70s, bless his heart. Oh, I, yeah, I think he, he wasn't there in the 70s. He was, looking at, he was working with the Sheraton in the 70s. Oh, and uh, Christine, that one from all the mm -hmm. seasons, wants to know um, where you got Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is from that same um, company, On the Wall Charm. It was a whole summer package that they had. I think it was like um, $68 for all those pieces. So it was a really good deal. And this is what the ribbons are looking like so far. Hmm? I was just talking to myself. Oh. <laughs> So we're just taking these and folding them in half. Folding them in half. Folding them in half. I'm going to be doing a couple of um, centerpieces, I guess you'd call them, or just um, arrangements. <clears throat> I have these little um, ladybug boots that I have filled up with that foam gap that I'm going to do an arrangement in and then maybe sell it together with my ladybug wreath that's in my Etsy shop. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So I'm just trying my hand at different things. I'm not really all that... I don't do florals all that much, but I'm really trying to 
broaden my my um, abilities, so I'm gonna do it. Cause I get a lot of yeah, a lot of people are liking the grapevines and all that stuff right now. I guess they just want something pretty, 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 pretty. See now this one looks kind of far apart. You try, tried to. Um, put them in so that they're not too far apart and leave a big old space. But anywhere there's a space, I can always, you know, get some 10 inch mesh and cut it, by, cut it at 10 inches long and um, make some rolls out of it and stick some rolls in randomly, wherever it needs it. We'll check it out by the time we get everything put on. Cause the sign is pretty big. <clears throat> and for those of you that didn't, that maybe came in a little bit later, this is the sign that we're using. USA Freedom. This is probably, I think, the last uh, patriotic I might be doing this season. Because I have a few in my shop already. My Etsy shop is Wall Decor by Faye. Tell your friends, your neighbors. Well, I guess you really can't, huh? Or you can message. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just rambling now. Rambler from way back. Rambler from way back. I have my glue gun and everything on. I'm afraid I'm going to... Burn yourself. No, I'm afraid I'm going to get my stuff in it. And we're just alternating in every other tie. So is anybody trying new recipes? I try to shoot a couple out every, <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> I try to post a few every, every now and again. I have a um, subscription to the Food Network magazine. And so, and I see those on, on uh, Facebook too. So I just try to share some new recipes. Because um, it gets boring eating the same stuff. Eleanor everywhere. Ambrose says, hello, I love your wreath. You just fried bacon, Kara. Eleanor. Oh. <laughs> hello, I love your wreath. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And we're just putting in our ribbons, alternating in every other tie. Almost done with the outer row. Uh, I'll, I'll occasionally says the yeah the seafood diet. Ah. That's my diet. That's my husband's diet. Yep. I see it. <laughs> I eat it. Yep. If it doesn't walk out of his mouth, it's in his belly. Except for what? Beets. Except and for beets hearts. and artichoke hearts. You ever want to get me to not eat? Just put down a plate of beet <laughs> salad and artichoke heart dressing. Yeah. <laughs> I won't eat it. Yeah. So if we get in a tip, you know what I'm making him for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kathy Couch says, I love this. It's just new at this crafting. Love it. Oh, cool. It's fun, isn't it? It completely... Changed and saved my life, y'all. Really, it did. Kara says I'm on the keto and have lost 23 pounds. Oh, wait. So I can have my bacon. Just there. no soda. Right. <laughs> I haven't had soda in so long, y'all. I can't even, I can't honestly remember the last time I had soda. I just don't care for it anymore. I have those little um, flavor packets like you can get from Walmart. Um... It's kind of like Crystal Light, but it's got energy in it. Oh. Well, caffeine, I should say. But it tastes like, you know, they have all different flavors. And it's so good. So I just drink my water with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, a pot of coffee. If, huh? I, if I know I'm having a long day, then I'm having a Somebody pot of coffee. Somebody likes artichoke hearts. Miss, Miss Christine Kathleen. But he likes artichoke Spinach artichoke dip. Yeah, so dip is different from oh, Okay. I don't know. I'm, I don't think I've ever had artichokes, artichokes when I was a kid. 
I don't dip, think you I've just, ever had You just steam the artichoke and then you dip the little things in the sour cream and you eat the meat off of it. Ah. Uh -huh. They call it meat, it's vegetable. I think I'm starting to become a vegetarian with this thing going on because I haven't been eating much meat at all. <laughs> Kara says I dream about Coke. <laughs> Like my, my favorite is the, so the coke you get from the restaurants, the fountain coke. The fountain, yeah. <laughs> Not so much of a can. Cocaine person. <laughs> coke glass bottles is good, but it's real cold. Y'all are funny. We used to get them out of the old vending machine at the gas station for a quarter back in the 70s. And it's so pretty, pretty. It makes a huge difference once these ribbons get on here. Leah McIntosh and Michelle Reed have joined. Hi. Hey, girl. Thanks for coming. Thanks for saying hey. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for favoriting my Etsy shop, too, Leah. And we're just... Uh, Putting the last few of our ribbons in, our tails, whatever you want to call them. Tails of the crypt. <laughs> Anybody seen any good movies? Not all these creepy, silly movies. I've watched every series on Netflix that I like, I've watched the whole thing. So I'm running low on new Netflix and if you've never watched um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, it's such a good show, y'all. It's so good. And it had, um, what was her name? That woman from Saturday Night Live, Miss? Not from Saturday Night Live. No. From, um, oh, from In Living Color or? No. Almost. Oh, Mad TV. Mad TV. That she played Mrs. Swan. Right? Yeah, she played Mrs. Swan. She's in it, and the the woman who played um, the queen on that series, the queen. She's she's in it. She's the Mrs. Maisel. It's so funny. It's it 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 is does have a lot of curse words though. So if you, yeah, you, if that doesn't. You know, if that's not your cup of tea, then don't watch it. But it's funny. The humor on it's really good. <laughs> so now we'll put this one in. This is our last two sets we'll put in. And then we'll get the sign and we'll get the sign in to see if we're going to use little Mr. Uncle Sam. Which I hope so, because he's adorable. Adorable. This is Uncle Sam, in case you came in later. From On the Wall Charms. Isn't he cute? I love their stuff. I had some of their Valentine's Day um, embellishments, too, and Christmas. Um, Deanne asks, have you seen Monarch of the Glen? It's... No. In Scotland, it's great. Same writer as Downton Abbey. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I'll give that a try. Is that on Netflix or Hulu or? Um, oh, that marvelous Mrs. Maisel Maisel is on. Um, Hulu. No Prime. Oh, uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, the Prime. Prime Network. Yeah, whatever it's called. Amazon Prime. Yeah, I know, but it said Prime Videos. That's what it said, Prime Videos. Prime. Prime. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, it was not a lazy day, but I didn't feel like getting dressed today, so I'm in a sweatshirt and my pajamas. Yeah. Because I couldn't get warm. Just could not get warm today. Is that, um, is that anything like the Outlander? I heard the Outlander was really good. Uh, somebody 
Ricky's picture is just their eye with an eyebrow. One eye. That's Ricky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the makeup on that. <laughs> it moves when you turn your hair. It follows you around like a tree Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is what it's looking like so far, y'all. It's cute, it's nice and little, and it's light as a feather. Good night. Yeah, for the fun part. Tara says that's the best way to craft in jammies. Yes! It truly is. And it, these, these are kind of sticking out. See how they... So it's going to be kind of hard to put... Oh. I, I practice shot one because last time it went through. So I've got to... I have some felt here that I'm going to fold up quite a few times. Because um, the sign is thin. So... My pipe cleaners. I'm gonna stick it right here in the middle. Put this underneath and get my staple gun. And hopefully, don't staple my finger. I'm gonna hold this up. Yay! The <laughs> end bought jammers for daytime. Oh, did you? That's good. Daytime jammies and bedtime jammies. Yeah, I'm a pajama freak. I have like three drawers filled with pajamas. Pajamas and socks, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't deny it. I love them both. Because they're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, cute is everything. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do the two first and we'll put it on the wreath and see where we're going to go where we're going to put the sign so we'll check that out first I'm going to let this glue dry and what I'll do while I'm letting this glue, glue dry for a second is cut these up I have these little guys and these come from Hobby Lobby I think I'll need my big ones for this. And we'll just cut these apart. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened. I was in the middle of gabbing and looked up and no one was there. So I just added a little more glue to my um, twist tie. I cut these guys up and um, now I'm going to cut him up. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for coming back. I don't know what happened. It seems to have happened the last few times. Facebook is trying to tell me something. I don't know. <laughs> Where'd the thingies go? What? Where'd the comments go? What do you want them on here? Get this going. <clears throat> so now I'm just taking these apart while this glue finishes drying up. And these I got at uh, AC Moore. And they're being a pain to get off. Not too bad. I'm going to leave these together, I think, just in case I want to use them in a little bunch. And I've got a couple of different ones of these. Yeah, I cleaned out AC more with these before they closed. Yes, I did. So we're, we're getting a, a Logitech, what's that, a webcam? Yeah. A webcam. Should be coming this week, so hopefully this won't continue to happen, y'all. Because this is like the fourth time in a row. I know, I don't understand. Thanks for coming back, y'all. Tearing some of these apart. While my glue dries. 
I really appreciate your patience, y'all. Okay, I tore some of it apart. We'll see. We'll take it from there. Put these out of the way. Okay. Unless I get a little anxious. Whenever I put the camera back on, Hi, it makes it crooked. <laughs> oh, it is crooked. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> There, how's that? that better? Yeah, that's good. So, let's see where we're going to put the sign on this thing. It's a big one. It is a big sign. So, I think one pipe cleaner on top and one on the bottom. Should be good. I'm gonna put it right there. That way I can leave room for Uncle Sam too. I probably should have put the sign on before I put the ribbon tails on. Save myself some ribbon. Oh well, live and learn. What do you think I would have learned by now? Now I gotta poke this through. I almost put it way farther away than I wanted to. But I saved myself that time. Okay. And now we're just going to attach it to the middle. Two rungs underneath. Just so that it, it doesn't slide back and forth. We all know that this is the fun part. Decided not to use the wire this time because last time the wire poked the heck out of me. How you doing, Marsha? In West Virginia, Clarksburg. I'm in Norfolk, Virginia. So I don't know how far away we are from one another. I think we've, we've been to Snowshoe in West Virginia. Gosh, 20 something years ago. Yeah, 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. <gasps> Feels so old whenever I say that. Oh my goodness. Here, 20 years ago, when I was a youngin. Back when horsepower was how much horses <laughs> you had, not the, the engine in your car. Gas was probably as cheap as it is now. That's one good thing that's coming out of all this, y'all, is uh, the gas has gone down. I don't know about where y'all live, but our average is... Um, they say Virginia's average is 172, but our Sam's Club. Costco. Costco. Costco has it for $1.49. It's been a long time since I've. Oh, good. There we go. Look. Yeah, look how fun. Perfect. It's been a long time since it's been a dollar something, and especially under a dollar fifty. Crazy. Anybody in California can tell me how much it is? In California, my brother lives in California, but we don't really talk much. He's 15 years older than I am, so we don't really talk a whole lot. Never has. So he's 40 or 45? Yeah, he's 45. Oh. See, <laughs> seems how I'm only 30, but I have a 22 year old son. <laughs> Hey, start young, man. Get, yeah. over there. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's everyone doing for dinner tonight? Somebody's having dollar fifty six at Sam's. Okay. And you're in Colorado, right, Michelle? Out in the ruralness of Colorado, I couldn't do rural. I could. Steve wants to so badly. I'm like, no, no. I'm a city girl all the way. A city girl. A city girl all the way. There we go. Do the shake test. Oh, I might have to do another shake test. Another jobby, another uh, twist tie over here because it's kind of shaky. Marshall <laughs> says, um, from seven, seven hours. hours from you, my husband was at Fort Eustis oh. years ago before he went to Vietnam. Love that area. I used to hitchhike back and forth 
every weekend. So you must be around my age because I used to hitchhike in California all the time. So I think we're going to use him since this part is so wide open and he's so cute. And you know how I feel about cute. So I can't believe I'm wearing my pajamas, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is take these pipe cleaners that are sticking straight up, I'm gonna fold them onto one another so it kind of gives like a little um, base for the guy to sit on, or lay on actually. So it kind of, cause I'll probably end up rolling these up if I can find one of my old little. So I'm gonna do the same to this one over here just in case, cause I don't know where I'm gonna put him at yet. Well, I know he's not going to be down there, so never mind. Never mind. So we're going to put him here. I think maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that'll look good. What do y'all think? Y'all, I got to take a drink of water. Hold on. Colorado. That's where I yeah, so I'm going to have to take my beadsmith, got my handy dandy beadsmith, and I'm going to gather up some of his back right here and poke a little hole in him. And since this wreath is, um, rather small and thin, I'm going to just use a pipe cleaner and stick um, it right on through the hole. Kathy Evans would like to know how much is that read? Um, I'm not sure yet. It depends on how much I put into it. I'll have to tally that up at the end. It just depends on how many embellishments and stuff I put into it and if I put a bow and all that. So. I won't know until I'm finished. I'm gonna add a little glue just so the material doesn't rip and that this pipe cleaner stays secure. And I'll twist, I'll twist this around where the glue sits so that that'll be secured in there as well. And if I scream, y'all, it's just because I got burned by the glue. I'll try not to cry. There we go. Yeah, I guess my fingers are getting a little uh, used to that. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, we can uh, see about some little rockets. Pew, pew. And it's got those little streamers here. I'm gonna put some around the sides of this, of the mason jar. And I just stuck it in through the mesh, y'all. So once I put it in there permanently, I'll put some glue on it and then let it touch as much of the mesh as possible so that it has a lot of places to hold on to. And now we're going to try to form a triangle. You might just end, I might just end up setting him on a uh, pipe cleaner as well. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I kind of want it to look like it's shooting out to the side. Yeah. but I don't want to cover up too much of the sign. So we'll do one down here also. I'm gonna pull out my ribbons so you can see all the ribbon I put in there so they don't go to waste. Excuse my headshot, you. Yeah. Gotta see which ones go where. There we go. And then we might do it down a little bit lower so we add a little dimension to it too. I'm 
I'm just putting these in randomly for now. I'll secure them. This will be listed in my Etsy shop by morning. So if anybody is interested, Wall Decor by Faye. Matthew Moyer says, hey, hey. Hey, Matthew, thanks for coming. You're one of my regulars now. I appreciate you. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm not happy with that bottom one yet though. So we'll take that one out. Let me see if Uncle Sam's ready. This is Uncle Sam we're using. This is from On The Wall Charm. They've got tons and tons of little rustic um, characters and stuff to put in your wreaths. Uh, it came in a little, um, in a little set, well set, you know, a little package with this watermelon. And with these popsicles too. And that was a whole package deal that they have going on. I think it's still going on too. The last time I looked it was on Etsy. So you'll, you'll want to check out their shop while you're checking out all the Corbe Fay. <laughs> Shameless plug. And I'm just going through the mesh and I'm setting him on that little platform that I made with the... Um, pipe cleaner and seeing how securely that'll go. I'll probably end up gluing him down and maybe putting another um, pipe cleaner up here too. We'll see how it sets once I have this one tied in. And we're gonna kind of put them at an angle and pull my ribbons out. And then I'm just gonna secure them to this railing right there to the two middle ones just so it doesn't go sliding around and I just happened to be by the middle one of those crossbars too so I will go around that as well for added security Yeah, I got a phone call today from a friend of mine from church that I haven't talked to in a long while. So it was good to hear her voice. That was a nice surprise. You know how you always need to call someone and then before you know it, the day's over and you haven't called them. So it's been a while. It's been since uh, maybe a week or so before this quarantine started. Um, so. Matthew wants to know what size wreath is that? This is a Dollar Tree um, 14 inch wreath frame with 12 um, pipe cleaners on it. Let's see, now let's see how, yeah, I'm gonna put another uh, pipe cleaner in, in Uncle Sam's hat because he's gonna flop around. So we'll take out the uh, beadsmith again, kind of hold a little bit of this material together. I don't know if you can see very well, but you just squish this together and poke a hole in it. And then we'll stick our pipe cleaner right on through the hole, just like that, easy peasy. And then we'll put a dab of glue right at the spots where the pipe cleaner went through so the material doesn't rip and it secures the pipe cleaner as well. And then I'm going to wrap this around itself while the glue is still wet so that it'll set when it, when it dries, it'll set the end of the pipe cleaner there. And just wrap it around. Try not to burn yourself. Y'all, I was looking at my emails the other day and I guess the nail people know that we're, we're starting to hate it with our nails right now. So they had this at home kit jobby and um, yours truly bought it. And 
So I'll let you know how it works. It's supposed to be one of those dip, you know, dip your nails in, but you don't need the UV light to dry it. It just has a sealant coat that you paint on there. So I'm going to um, give it a try. And it wasn't very expensive, so who knows? It might save me money in the long run. I won't have to keep going to the nail place every two weeks. If it can outlast uh, uh, making a wreath, we will find out. I think I wanna, okay, let's see. That feels pretty dry, so I'm gonna put this on down. Right out here. Wanna make sure it's behind the hat so you don't see it. And don't pull it too tight because it'll look like he's going, ah, ah. <laughs> this is what happens when you're home by yourself all day, y'all. Uh, <laughs> but it's fun. I get a lot of stuff done, so it's okay. Most days, anyway. I have a feeling after today I'm going to have a somewhat lazy day tomorrow. I got a lot done today. Oh, I'll have to show you that uh, cross wreath I started. That's what I'll do tomorrow is finish that. It's... It's not difficult, it's just time consuming. It's weaving um, rope, you know, twine around the frame, and it's one of those Dollar Tree cross frames, too. So, thank you. <laughs> On my phone, it shows up, I think, the same as the computer. Thank you so much. Yeah, I started. Um, making wreaths after my mother passed away. She was a, she could do it all. She was a seamstress for as long as I can remember, made all my clothes. She taught us sewing in, um, in um, Girl Scouts, told me to not try. I was the worst one in the whole group. <laughs> so that wasn't my talent. She, she quilted, she, we made wreaths together, but nothing like this. We didn't know about mesh and all that stuff. This is the cross that I'm starting, see? And you just weave it through the through these. So next I have to go from, from side to side. You stop right here in the middle. The end is back. And Deanne. then you got a wonky wonky the middle part. Deanne Moffler. Hey, Deanne. I'm just showing the cross wreath that I'm working on. And then I'll put... Um, some, I think some patriotic ribbon and maybe some flowers on it too. Some red, white, and blue flowers. But I thought that would be nice for the, for, um, you know, you could have it up all summer, all year actually, you know? So, while well, we've got him in now, he's sitting pretty good. Look how cute. So it's looking pretty good, y'all. I'm, I'm getting happy with this. I think we'll put this one maybe down here. Now these um, pipe clean, see I didn't need this one. So I'm gonna untie this one. I had tied this one just in case. I wasn't sure where he was gonna set, but I like where he's setting. So I wanna twist him a little bit to the, at an angle. I don't look everything all straight up and down. And I might, um, Cut off some length of this and put this like right up here. Sticking out a little bit behind good old Uncle Sam. Yeah, I like those more than I like the rustic ones, I think. And I'm going to cut off some of this. And I have some more of these too in a bag over there. So if I need more, I'll, I'll uh, grab some more. Like I said, I took, I think almost all of the patriotic that AC Moore had because I had a feeling that they were not gonna be around by this time. Well, you know, when, when we needed it, when we needed the patriotic, so. Then I'm just gonna take a 
something small in diameter like this. And I'm gonna um, take these pipe cleaners that are out here and I'm just gonna roll them down. I make little curly cues out of it. And I usually do that in my, um, my beach wreaths as well, because I use um, a lot of the Dollar Trees. Because a lot of people at the beach have those storm doors too. And uh, so they like their wreaths a little bit thinner. Not all people, but you know. And so you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but it's got little curly keys. And it just adds another little something, something. Yeah, I have one more of these. I don't know if I need it. I'm kind of liking it just the way it is. Do you think maybe he should hold one? No, <laughs> come shoot now, this honey. I did not say that. How about that? Look at there. What do y'all think? Perfect. Yeah? Oh, perfect. Cool. Do I need something down here? No. I think I need something down there. It's a ginormous <laughs> bow. <laughs> No, there's no room for a bow. <laughs> Giant red, white, and blue bow. I might just stick a little couple of these here and there. You know, just to have, them, just to have something sticking out. Because it's kind of a little... Oh, I'm glad this turned out good because I was all worried about it. With all the dif difficulties I was having, I was like... Phew. You know how sometimes you just don't have that good feeling about a wreath? Well, I was kind of feeling like this, but I'm really kind of happy with the way it turned out. This would be cute on anyone's door, y'all. Oh, we're starting to get our rain. It was nice all day. Is it raining right now? Yeah, I can hear it. We have a awning over our back little deck thingy. And... Okay, y'all, I'm just going to go around and... Twist ties, I mean, twist, you know, make little curly cues out of these. Twist ties and then glue these puppies on in. And I think we're calling it a day. Michelle Reese says I have a webcam, but I can't use it. Our internet blanks in my area. Ah. Uh, I, I don't understand all this stuff, this technical stuff. That's why I have to have Steve here to help me because I know I would. Just go, forget it. I just don't have the patience for technology at mm. all. Facebook Live with Swamp Signals. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know. Because mm. mm. I've only had a cell phone for the last two years, and that was because we put our house up for sale, and the real estate agent had to get a hold of me. So uh, if I didn't have to, Matthew, I wouldn't. Matthew has an update on his page. It says, we started out at 50 followers two days ago, and when I woke up this morning, we're at 154. On your page? Awesome. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, these people are having to stay in and watch us, so we have a captive audience. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of good things coming out of this. We all think, you know, don't always think gloom and doom. That's my job. Yes, that's my husband's job. And it's my job to keep them and his spirits uplifted. But that's okay. That's why we get along well. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm just going to roll these up. And I think I'll let y'all get to your dinners. And I thank you so much for joining me. Look, I think you turned out really cute. Just going to glue them puppies in and that's it. Well, y'all, thanks so much for another Winging It with Willie. <laughs> I appreciate every one of you. Thanks so much. Go check out my Etsy shop and my YouTube channel, please. And have a blessed, blessed night. <laughs> and y'all, take care. I'll see you again real soon because I got a Mother's Day wreath I want to make with y'all, okay? All right. God bless. Bye. Thank you.